Okay, so I'm just going to record a Guild War real quick. Um, <clears throat> see where we are. I want to see how long this will take. I mean, it usually takes me forever just because I'm not that fast when it comes to Guild Wars. Uh, 19, 17. I don't know. Wait. My numbers are weird. So 10 and 19. We could pull this off. Let's hit the stronghold first, just because if I lose any units, at least it's like on the hardest one. I had a team built earlier and it didn't save it for some reason. Um, take a light bait. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna set up these teams. And then come back. Okay. <clears throat> uh, presumably we're back. Um, so this first team, I didn't get all that much information from the guild from the guild chat, um, other than Ravi being very strong. Of course, Tenebria is going to be squishy. <clears throat> um, so let's have a go with this. Hopefully, Charles S three into maybe one of her S ones might. A stray S1 might hit her and she'll die. Um, and then if anybody dies, I've got Tenebria here. I've got um, Ruel here. Uh, <clears throat> basically, Ruel's going to bait both of them. I mean, hopefully she'll bait all three of them. Uh, doesn't really matter who she hits, though. It's basically just want to focus these two. Uh, and since she's single target, she's one and a half single target. Um, Tenebria can be kind of safe. The only problem is Charles... Might die, I don't know. He can't counter on her attacks. He can counter on their two attacks, which he probably won't. So, you know, there that goes. Uh, this one is very tanky, Charles. Hopefully I can survive, like, a prolonged fight with him. The idea is I'm probably going to try to kill him first and then worry about these two. Uh, but yeah, I don't really have any other... I don't have any other uh, dark units that will survive... Um, Neutral units that have survived this, so I'm just going to have to fight it out like this and see how this goes. Uh, ideally, I'd probably want to go something like DJ Basar, uh, boost up into like Yufin, but then Yufin's immediately going to die to Kron. Or, I don't know, yeah, basically anything I can do to one-shot um, Charles down there, I don't really have anything for that. I mean, I could probably 1v1 them with Ravi, but I think Ravi's just going to die to... Kron. The problem is Kron's gonna one shot somebody if they're not tanky enough. Basically, I'm running two waters to keep him from targeting them, and he'll target CC. He should target CC. Uh, should probably survive, and then I'll just have to deal with Charles with Chip and just keep hitting him. Um, that's my plan. So here goes. I'm not the best at Guild Wars, so I don't know. I don't imagine this will go very well. I'm sure Fortune will be on our side And my well. Ruel is pretty fast for some reason. I mean, she's 175 speed. It's just weird that when she's beef, when she's first. Um, oh, I should have hit uh, the Ravi. Don't be afraid. I have 167 F res, so hopefully I can resist that, which I did. Uh, of course, S3. See if I can just one-shot her with this. I have one-shot them before. But that uh, chatty, that's a good move. Uh, it makes her a lot tankier. I'll try to hit this Ruel. I really want to get rid of this Ruel as soon as possible. Okay, she's on Water's Origin as well. She's probably going to trigger my Ruel of Water's Origin. Uh, I'm going to sort of force the healer right here. Okay, she's burning the S3, which is basically what I wanted. Ooh, very interesting. I'm gonna have to probably revive Charles at some point. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, she's dead. Oh, come on! 
Ah, oh, I was about to say. Mm, the only thing left is to hit her. This should be fairly easy, but who knows? She's gonna kill Charles here. Ah, oh, that Charles, man. He is not gonna die. Uh, I kind of want to S3 Charles right now just to make sure he doesn't die, but I don't know. Annoying. Ah, fine, whatever. I swear. A miracle will occur. So I'm gonna hit a Ravi with Charles, because I mean there's no one else I can hit. Um but I'm bored. She should kill the other Tenebria here. Yep, okay. And basically that should be fine for now, so that's pretty good. Uh, this team would be pretty good as a defense team, except my Charles is not on um, counter set, so the way to beat this is just focusing Charles. And you probably need like a faster uh, S10A. Hopefully this doesn't take too much longer. And of course I missed the crit. I missed the crit twice! That's impressive. She's got like 80 something. At least Charles is making up for it. Okay, this second team is the most sketch one. I don't know if I can out damage their Charles. Uh, Charon should die pretty easily. Yeah, 9,000 HP. And my barrier... My Cecilia's at 29k HP, so that barrier... At 3,000 is 45, so that barrier is 4 or something more, which is pretty good. Um, so basically what I got from that is that Charon doesn't hit for shit. Uh, what I do know is this Charles down here is on counter set now and very tanky and he's gonna be a lot of the damage okay good um whoa that lag okay cool and of course yep okay Okay, I didn't do as much damage as I thought he might. Let's see how much damage this does. Ah, uh, so he doesn't hit it hard enough. Okay, the second S2. He's dead. Okay. Theoretically, right. This should be a win, but Charles makes me nervous, especially when I'm taking two water units into him. Are you prepared for this? Um, especially with CC giving him barriers and just spreading barriers around. But they don't have any healing. See, and then this happens a lot. They don't have any healing, so hopefully I can just out-sustain them. I really should be hitting Charles with a lot of these, um, just because, uh, well, it's a gamble. Oh, uh, counter is always 20%, but if I hit her, either he has a, it's a gambling that he has a not maxed um, Elbrus. So if he has not maxed, it's not 20%, so you want to focus on her. So the idea is to just hit anybody that's not her. Okay. Don't put all your faith in me. That was fine. I'll help you. It's going to be okay. Run before it's too late. Um I 
Let's just spread more damage around. Plus, it'll get me my stacks quicker. Uh, I'll probably get countered here, which shouldn't be that big a deal. And I crit the Charles, which is pretty good. And I didn't get countered, so that's cool. Uh, here's another counter. So basically, this is how you play this out. You just gotta kind of chip them out. Um, Charles isn't fast enough to be a consistent damage dealer. He's just kind of there to distract you from the other problems. Especially if he doesn't do any damage. There's really not much he can do. This is why I don't like a, a, a tanky Charles. It's, you can just kind of ignore him. And even if Elbrus procs, your Elbrus procs are not as significant as they could be. If he was doing a lot of damage, his Elbrus procs would be very dangerous, but they're just kind of mildly ticklish, especially if you have CC. And he gets that, and I'm gonna get the counter, and that should be it. And I got the crit, so there you go. I, I crit that Charles twice with uh, Seaside, so. Uh, but that's that. Uh, let's go see. We gotta find two more attack targets. Uh, I think I'll come back when I find one. Okay, so I'm just gonna cheap out here and uh, play it safe. This isn't one of the towers. It's just like a random small tower. Not one of the the forts. I mean, it's one of the random small towers. So I'm just gonna hit this guy and uh, deal with it. So ideally, Alencia is gonna strip their buffs. He's gonna cleanse what she has, she's putting out and what he's putting out. He's probably on Ayala's, which is going to be really irritating. Uh, but hopefully, Charles can take care of him pretty easily. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's basically how it is. Uh, I'm going to save the Alencia until I can strip the revive. Uh, his S3 won't kill them anyway. The only problem I have is this um, Serato here is going to be a huge pain. I don't have any debuffs on my team, so I don't have to worry about him countering. Just... The initial S3 to defense break is usually, it almost always hits me, so see how that goes. Um, down here, she's going to target her and she's going to target her, so I, both of them are here to have their healing to make sure she stays alive, and basically they're going to kill themselves on uh, Seaside Bologna, which is basically my plan. Uh, and if any of them die, I can just revive them. So she can S3, hit everybody, and then if you know he hits her back, I can just revive her. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, the only down here is pretty safe. Up here, uh, Zerato and her are a pretty good team. I actually, never thought about that. Uh, if I had uh, speed lots, I could just cleave them, but I don't. So this is what I'm dealing with. Uh, let's see, what else do I need? Is that it? That should be it. I really want something to. Yeah, I wish I could just one shot that Zerato, but he's usually too tanky for that. I could run Yufin. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna run Yufin instead of that. Hopefully that works out fine. Uh, she's probably gonna be on immunity. Yeah, I don't know. See, that's... <sighs> now I'm second guessing myself. Yeah, this Serato is making this a lot harder than it should be. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, the Discord's going off. Oh, this is a really bad showcase. Not even a showcase, I'm just kind of like putting stuff here, but... I mean... I could swap this. We already hit the strong. We already hit the uh, main stronghold. So I mean, like everything we do after that's kind of neither here nor there. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'll just stick with uh, Charles, and uh, here's hoping I can do something about this. The only problem is just <laughs> that Zerato debuff is is annoying. Okay. And someone attacked. Okay. Well, I guess that was a waste. Hold on. Okay, <clears throat> okay. so I found a different fort, or a different tower, whatever. Uh, it's one of the small towers. Um, this is what I'm going with. Her, she's going to 
help trigger this and then help hopefully help trigger this too and they're basically just gonna barrel down on her uh, after she's gone probably focus her and then just lastly just focus on ml ravi and that should be that uh, so this top part is pretty safe bottom part it's a little trickier uh, if you notice here they all have um, aoe s3s so she's got 10k hp don't think she'll survive all of it but that's why uh, ruel is here so after the s3 basically uh, they can't hit her anymore. The, the The person you want to focus here is going to be Lilius first, because Lilius is going to be the fastest, and she can get her S3 up a lot faster. Uh, so, yeah, basically, just beat the shit out of Lilius, and then uh, worry about these two later. Uh, her S1 won't trigger this, and it won't trigger this, so you'll be fine. Um, and, yeah, I mean, hopefully then we'll see how that goes. That bottom team sort of concerns me, but we'll see. Let's see how accurate I was when I said this was safe. What'll happen now? I'll finish this first, then go have some fun. I'm not sure. She, I don't know if she's on Ayella's. She didn't trigger it on. DJ Basara if she is, but we'll see how this goes. Wow, that did 2,000 damage. Almost one shot her. And... Now, in this scenario, uh, it would have been smarter to S1 Montmorency and then just let um, Dizzy do her thing. Because that way you're just sort of farming uh, SSB stacks off of her constant AoE. Um, yeah, it's not so big. Not, it's not that big a deal. Uh, let's see. So she should be dead. If I proc the S2, oh well, there you go. She's dead. There you go. See. The A Ravi S3 is really the biggest thing you have to be worried about, especially when you take Basar. My Basar is pretty tanky, so he took a mm, little over, a little less than half, but still, it's pretty scary. Uh, this is the other thing is that you don't want her pushing you back as much, uh, so often, I guess is the word. Uh, but it's not that big a deal, as you can see. Um, take the S3 just to get it. Okay, he's not countering, so Charles is on counter set. There was no Elbrus counters there. I mean, he's probably still on Elbrus too, but that didn't. that's not what's hitting me now. It's the counter set. And lag. Um, there's no reason to use anything, so I'm just going to just hit her. The S1. 8,000. They don't have any healing, so again, hopefully I can out-sustain them. See, this is what I'm talking about. 12k HP usually... But even he didn't do that much damage. Let's see how much damage this does. The biggest problem that poses isn't really the damage, it's more the defense break, because then it um, sets up for everyone else. Um, you don't want to hit her until the shield is gone, but by the time the shield is gone, her S3 is back up. So you're kind of in a lose-lose situation there. Don't know what to do here. He's got defense buff too, but he's not... Very tanky, so that defense buff is not doing as much as it could. This this barrier is just super annoying. Um, shit, I'll just hit her with it. Hopefully, I can get the stun. Oh, there you go. Um, I'm just gonna cleanse her debuffs. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the ass. This is the thing about using uh, Ruel, is you only have two heals. Uh, they're two full heals, granted, uh, they, they, but they're still, you know... Bad things happen sometimes. Okay, so from now on I want to just make sure I be hitting her because she's got heal eggs. This Charles doesn't do any damage whatsoever. Look at that. I'm sure Fortune will be on our side today as well. Okay, here comes the S1 again. She doesn't do that much damage without a, without a um, 
She doesn't do a lot of damage without the attack buff. And here comes Charles. This is why you want to focus on the Lilius, because she brings Charles, and Charles is. he does Charles things. Um, but as always, they can't really hit anybody else. They can't hit. They can't hit S ten A, which is the most important person here. Okay, there we go. So the Malken hitting her isn't too bad. He'll distribute his damage across. Here's another S one. See, Charles is already basically dead. Let's do this again. See what I mean? She takes a lot of turns and you just never want to leave her alive for too long. Though, unfortunately, she still has the same problem uh, my Lilius has in that she's not nearly tanky enough. She has 23,000 HP and she just gets chunked pretty hard. Okay. Where's Origin? Sit you with that. Play with me. Um, do I really want to burn this now? I ah, will burn it anyway. Okay, let's see if I can kill him. Okay, just barely. Uh, the only problem is. If I don't kill him with this S3, he's going to counter and probably heal himself back to full. And he's dead. Okay, cool. Um, so there's that. Okay, and then I'll come back when I have the next one. Alright, so my guild usually does this to take out the two other um, forts, and then they just go straight for the stronghold. Uh, and then this happens, so I don't really like leaving this like this, um, so I'm just going to give it a shot. I already built some teams for it, so I don't have to go through all that. Uh, both of these are pretty risky. I mean, I can see why we took the other two and not this one. Uh, yeah, there's not much to say. I just hopefully he'll survive. If he doesn't, she can revive him. Uh, the deal is I need him. These two need to focus on killing a cart. Basically... Normally, so a lot of times I'll bring like SSB into this, um, but <clears throat> you don't really want to trigger his uh, revive because then he just kind of hits you with two S3s. Uh, so you just want to hopefully hold out until uh, later. The thing is, he's probably going to be counterattacking him. Well, ultimately the point is there's really no good way to deal with this without an answer reviver, which I don't have. Uh, ideally, you would just uh, run. Where is she? And I have her six star. She's here somewhere. Oh, here she is. Ideally, you just run like a Lilibet or um, Cigarette. Um, but I don't. I'm not. So you know, this is what I'm doing. I don't have uh, decent lots, so I can't like just ox lots him in there and and deal with it that way. Um, but yeah, ideally. It, this would be Lilibet, and then just take out Arbiter Villager, and that's a 3 on 2, and they don't have any healing, so that's, that'd be better. I don't even have her built, actually. I, I should probably go do that after this. But yeah, maybe this will motivate me to to build a little bit. Um, but yeah, this probably isn't a very good team. Uh, I just kind of put it together. We have sustain, they don't. Basically, all there is to it. Uh, so my idea, like I said, kill a cart, then focus CC, and then then kill him or maybe kill him at some point I don't know I just I don't want to get hit with two S3s back to back but I think it's better than it's better to get hit with two S3s than to get hit with an S3 then an S2 and then another S3 after that so we'll see how this goes speed tuning and all that um, yeah we'll see how it goes uh, down here he has AoE he has AoE and she's just kinda here to stall so for one trigger a, a bunch of these kill them and then hopefully He'll take a bunch of damage, and I'll usually this is how I counter Ken's. Like Ken's never a big deal to this account, just because use crowd and make him run into him, and then crowd just S threes, and that's it. Uh, but yeah, so if I'm gonna lose any, uh, might as well lose the last one. 
I said that for the last two, the first two, and I did lose, so who knows, we'll see. Alright, right, so that's a good sign because I'm sure Fortune will be on our side he does not hit very hard since um, he's on speed. I, I didn't see what uh, artifact he had on, but yeah, that's that means we can basically just focus him and kill him because he's going to revive S3 again and it's not going to be that big a deal. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just going to focus on him for now. Oh, he's got Dreamblade. Okay. So this is a fast. Uh, what's the word? Fast. Ideally, a fast sort of consistent Vildred, because it's usually either a burst Vildred, in which case you run Alexa's to like S3, and then uh, he'll revive an S3 again, and you know, having two greater attack buffs for that is going to be good. Uh, oh wow. I have 167 Efrez on my Ruel. How should I do this? That's crazy. Uh, okay, if, I, if I'm gonna die at all, it's it's gonna be because of that. So that's it's kind of scary. Um, well, he's already got the attack buff, so he may as well. Yeah, she's gonna die. Shall we go to the land steeped in? And I can't provoke him. Yeah. Go. Oh come on! Now try me. Don't chicken out. Yeah, she's gonna die. So this is kind of a pickle. Um. Damn, that's crazy, dude. She has 167 resistance. And he hit both of them. Uh, shit. Well, I guess I'm fucked as it is. Just gonna have to go try to hit. Um. This bastard again. Would you help? Oh, that sucks, dude. Okay, there's a counter. Okay. This is only a temporary alliance. And he's dead. Oh, he should be dead. Yeah. Hopefully I can dodge this. If I can dodge this, there might be a chance. Um, just because Violet can do... Okay, I didn't dodge, but I didn't crit. So let's just S3 him. I hit. Okay, cool. Okay, so the biggest problem we're going to have next is the idea that this A cart is going to try to hit her with his S3 again. Which, that's where the problem is going to be. So, damn it, there's really no good option here. I think he's going to S3 right now, you know. 18k HP. Decent speed. Yeah. I see your weakness. I know I'm beautiful. Um, the problem I'm having is they're not attacking. Oh, there we go. He's not attacking him. So now his S3's up. The biggest problem is I need to hit a cart once. Okay, so I need to hit him once. Yeah, I don't have the speed to do this. Because I have to hit him to take the miss, the his passive off. And then I have to hit him with... Uh, Violet, which he outspeeds Violet, which is where the problem lies. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to do this on her. So I'm gonna have to focus on her because I can't kill Violet. And I didn't crit. <sighs> sucks. Um, I'm just have to focus her. Again, they don't have any. Uh, Wow, she's, she's not very tanky, is she? Okay, I might have a chance at this, I think. It's not as hopeless as I had thought it was. Oh, no, no, it actually might be bad, because I don't think I have enough to break this barrier. A lot s 3 her constantly. Oh, this is going to be quite a long battle. Um... 
Is he on lifesteal? I think I've hit him once. Okay, crit. This is only a temporary alliance. Okay, they can't get past the barrier, which is pretty good. I'll have you kneel under this sword. I know I'm beautiful. Okay. So hopefully she misses, and I can get rid of that. Damn it, she didn't miss again. Are you prepared for this? My past, regrets, and hesitation. I'll sever everything. I think I got this. I don't know if I should uh, cut away. I guess I'll just leave it in. I mean, this video's already long anyway. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, let's just hit her. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I think we got this. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. How are we not... Like, I don't have that much resistance. How are we not, like... There we go. Like, we should just be, like, provoke-locking each other. Don't chicken out. Um... Let's just hit her with this again. Be grateful that you get to fight me. Are you prepared for this? This is... This is pretty interesting. I thought it was sort of, like, cut and dry that we lost already, but... Like, if she dies, this is the last, uh, of the three matches, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, for, like, later games, but later, uh, whatever matches. Um... But I think, if she dies, I think I have a better chance, because they'll be hitting Violet more. I mean, the scary thing is, if Acart doesn't miss with his S3 on Violet, then he's basically just gonna die. Um, so I think where we are here, see like I resisted that S1 and she doesn't even have much resistance. Oh, okay, this is bad. And he doesn't dodge. <laughs> no, I think his apple's up. Yeah, that's why. Um, I know I'm beautiful. This is only a temporary alliance. I think I got this. I just gotta focus on CC here. Uh, they can't get past the barrier, so as long as that's the case, then I should be fine. Don't chicken out. Don't put all your faith. Oh, this, this is very boring. I'll show you the end. Welcome to where even Guild War takes an hour long video to show. Uh, let's see, alright, so I'm just gonna. I was gonna S3 her, but I guess I can't. Okay, there's S1. Okay, so that's the only damage I take is when um, she's got attack uh, defense break. I mean. Okay, so that hit her for a decent amount. I'm just gonna get, get this over with. I don't wanna. Drag this out any further than it needs to be. Okay. I think this should be fine. Um, I I'll keep missing on a cart, but at least, uh, uh, but at least, oh, there I go. I won't miss this time, and I have the S3 down. So my S3 is up. Look at my sword, not my face. Let's just eat the apple right now. Uh, that's two stacks, so let's just hit him with this. See how much damage I do off of this. Seven? That's not bad. Um, but yeah, okay, there I go. I, I thought I lost, but I didn't, so it's pretty cool. Even with his dodging, there's no way he can uh, survive this. I just get chipped out to death. 13. Oh my gosh, dude, that's such pitiful damage. Now try me. Don't chicken out. 13. Are you prepared for this? My past regrets. Uh I'm only soul burning here on this cuz this is um you get more damage out of her S3 than her S1. That's a good sign when draw is available and you still don't take it. And there we go. Oh, there you go. He's dead. Cool. 
Oh man, that was stressful. I think what won me there was um, Avel hit like a paper mache replica of an Avel Dread. I don't know, that was weird. Is that 3,000? That's not too bad. Um, I want to push her back, but I'm pretty sure she's just gonna resist it because I don't have like 20 effectiveness on him. But I just I want to you want to pop it. Um, oh, there you go. You want to pop his uh, passive as soon as possible, which I miss both crits. Because then this happens. Fortunately, everybody's tankier with the uh, the defense buff, so he'll try to hit uh, AOE this time, not do very much. So here's this. 3,000, only hit her, weirdly enough. Uh, here's this. Uh, so in this case, I'm just gonna hit him. Okay, crit. I actually didn't see how much HP that uh, that guy has. Oh, well, there we go. She's healing everybody but herself, which she's decently fast, so I'm kind of worried about it, actually, whether um, I can kill her in time, but we'll see. Um, it's always tempting to S3 here, especially for me, but uh, I think I'm just going to play it safe this time. Um, yeah, I'm just going to S1 her. Oh, balls. Let's go. Uh, let's... She has low effect resistance. She can't do anything anyway. Oh, balls. Uh, okay, so I think Crow should be able to S3. Somebody next turn. Oh, balls. I think he's gonna die. Oh my gosh, dude. Um, I can just sneeze at k and he'll die now. Ruel is a much more threatening target. I'm just going to hit Ruel. Okay, she's dead. Uh, this is really risky because I don't remember how much HP he, he has, so let's just hit him anyway. Okay, cool. And then he's just going to die. <sighs> Calculated, man. All the stuff right here is calculated. Uh, there you go. That's uh, Guild War. Uh, I think we're still recruiting. Uh, we have 84 tokens. They have well, we have 81. They have 84. So that means that we're low on members. Uh, so contact. I guess contact me, and I'll put you in contact with the people who uh, run the Discord and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, um, we're working towards trying to get to. Uh, top 100 guild at, at least uh, and then you know push further from there but given how many members we're lacking uh, it's kind of hard so yeah hopefully uh, that was at least somewhat enjoyable <laughs>